This morning we're going to cover how to count the number of values in the collection. And we're going to do it kind of by group. As a case in point, let's suppose that we had a relational table where in our relational table we had stocks, bonds, futures, and credit default swaps. If we wanted to count how many future values appeared in that table. Well, this is going to be similar, except we're going to be looking at it from a collection perspective. So let's suppose that we had similar values in a collection and we wanted to count how many futures we had in a collection. We're going to look at some test data here. So the first thing I'm going to load is um, our database. And the next thing as well is let's go ahead and let's look at one of these values from this table. so that we kind of look at see what we're going for. So what we want to do is we want to figure out how many of these financial test data are equal to futures. Now in this case this one is stocks and you can see the number. But what we want to do here is figure out how many of, of this is equal to futures. So what we're going to do is similar to the, uh, the find, we're going to say db.sqlserver.count and now we're going to pass in the field financial and then we're going to say here futures. That's what we're looking for. And this is kind of like, again, think of it from the relational perspective. It's, this is kind of like our where clause here. We're saying we're going to look through the document SQL server. We're going to count the number of financial where it equals futures. Okay, And you'll see we get 14. So it is similar in the sense that like find, and we can specify things on find like a where clause, what we're doing is we're specifying that in our WHERE clause to count as well. 